it's, it's fitting to say, it's accurate to say, the president inherited a difficult situation when he came into office. Here's the problem. He made things much worse. And so, he didn't change. He stayed hard to the left. He's run out of ideas. And that's why he's resorted to a campaign based on anger, based on division. Hope and change is now attack and blame. He's seeking to divide this country in the hopes that he can divide it so that he can just get 50 plus one and win by default. That's not who we are. And you know what? We're not gonna fall for that, are we? Of all the times, I mean, great nations come to historic moments. What's unique about this historic moment that we are facing is we see it coming. Let me ask it to you this way. I remember 2008, that economic crisis, that crash. Now that we look back, we can see why it all happened. You know, housing markets and Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and all the stuff that happened. But at that time, Barney Frank's another example. Thank you for the suggestion, sir. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're going to get me off my track here. Hang on. <laughs> the point is, when that crisis hit us, it caught us all by surprise. Trillions of dollars of wealth from families, from retirements were vanished. Millions of people out of work, which we're still suffering from. Let me ask you it this way. What if your president or your congressman or your senator, what if they saw it coming? What if they knew that that crash was coming? What if they knew why it was gonna happen? What if they knew approximately when it was gonna happen? And what if they knew how to prevent it from happening and they had the time to do that, but they just decided not to because it wasn't good politics? What would you